There's all sorts of tools out there for everyday carry needs. However, the one tool most often overlooked is the pry bar. Many EDC practitioners dismiss this tool because of the limited usage. However, this very unique tool has one specialized job, but it does that job extremely well. So, why should you EDC a pry bar in your kit? The answer is simple. A pry bar is the most effective tool for whenever you need to apply leverage to pry something open or apart. Sure, there are some fringe benefits to having a pry bar on hand, but essentially you will use it to gain mechanical advantage. The anatomy of the pry bar is extremely basic. There is a tapered end that usually curves slightly, your fulcrum, which connects to a length of bar. Additionally, the length of bar is usually covered at one end with some form of non-slip grip. Traditional pry bars often have a slimmer, flatter profile with notches on the end to assist with prying out nails and other construction fasteners. Don't get me wrong, you can absolutely carry one of these if you prefer that pry bar design. Now, onto how the pry bar actually works. When using the pry bar to open a door, for instance, the frame of the door acts as the fulcrum. The tip is inserted, more like wedged, into any available space, and pressure is applied to the handle of the pry bar to create clearance of the door to open. Alternatively, the force you apply through the pry bar could actually break the locking mechanism, allowing the door to swing freely. Conversely, if you don't have something to wedge the pry bar against, example the door frame, the slight curve slash bend in the length of bar acts as the fulcrum. In either scenario, the length of the bar provides you the mechanical advantage to amplify the force you exert. Nowadays there's a market for mini pry bars. They should name them micro pry bars. People wonder if a mini pry bar is an effective addition to their EDC kit. While this may not be a popular opinion, I personally think that most of these are a waste of money. More often than not, they serve as a glorified bottle opener. Proponents will argue that these tools often come with nifty cutouts, argument about loosening bolts or but there's a screwdriver built-in are the most common. That's all well and good, but there's a reason I carry my Leatherman multi-tool which you can read more about here. Oftentimes, these same proponents neglect that the tool is a pry bar first and all of the other options are secondary. While I do think that these micro pry bars have a place in the EDC world, it certainly isn't for prying things apart. Because these tools are often short, example, less than 6 inches long, it does not allow for proper leverage for any heavy-duty application when I need a tool to pry open that car door to save someone's life, I most assuredly want a tool adequate for the job. Thanks for watching, until next time!